This is how you get your PS3 controller on your computer. You can actually work for any game because you could actually have the controller emulate the keyboard and mouse. So what you're going to do is extract this one here. You're going to get the installer from MotionJoy. Run the installer. You're going to get DS3 tools here. Then you have to run DS3 tools. When you're running it for the first time, hit device manager. Yes. Now, you're going to check port, the USB hub there, install all. Okay. Now, once that's all done installing, give that a minute or so. Give it a couple minutes, it'll get done installing. Then you want to check it again, make sure it's checked, and hit load driver. Give it a minute or so, let it all load up. Go back to profiles. In the profiles, you want this one here, the Xbox controller emulator. Most of the computer games work with the Xbox controller. So that's why you want to emulate the Xbox controller. And then you hit enabled and you're good to go. Now my PS3 controller is emulating the Xbox controller. Let me close that out. XPad here. It's actually XPadder. Extract that file. You're going to get a folder here. Not an X. I actually made the X. It's going to be a folder. This is XPadder. Go into folder. I'm going to right click XPadder. Run as admin. And then it's going to come up. It's going to be blank. None of these boxes are going to be there at first. These are all the buttons to the PS3 controller. So it's going to be blank at first and you're going to have to add all these buttons and enable them all. For an example, the right analog is that one there, you see it. That's the right analog. And you have the D-pad, which is the center one, and then the mouse. Look, I'll actually move the mouse around with the right analog stick. X, see X up here. It's the key X from the keyboard when I hit triangle. Now if I hold triangle, it'll be the Z key to the keyboard. Now how you do that, you select on it, select advanced, All right, put X key in, then hold zone, then Z keys. So that's when I hold it now, it'll be Z. Now you can set it to whatever key you want. It's your choice. And you could also uh, make a cycle through it. So you, instead of putting the hold zone, put a cycle stop, Z, then it'll just cycle through X and Z every time I hit it. I hit triangle, it'll be X. I hit it again, it'll be Z, back and forth. So that's how you set up your PS3 controller to your computer. It's that simple.